Hi friends, today I'll talk about Venus in the seventh house of your birth chart. Do subscribe to this channel and if, you, and if you want consultation, my number is there in the video description and friends do share this video. Friends, what is Venus? Venus is the planet of beauty, love, romance, relationship, of marriage, marital relationship, of sexual relationship, of sexual desire and even sex. Venus is also the planet of wealth, yes, of material comfort, of luxury, of you know abundance, yes, even of prosperity and even of happiness, even love and peace. Venus also signifies fine arts like music, dancing, singing, painting. Uh, Venus is also the planet of creativity. It's a planet of creativity and imagination. And Venus uh, gets exalted in Pisces. It is also the planet of spirituality, uh, spiritual devotion. It is a planet of spiritual devotion and knowledge also. Because Venus is associ associated with Shukracharya in mythology. And uh, Shukracharya was the only guru who had the knowledge of Sanjeevani. Sanjeevani is, you know, the knowledge of, you know, that not the, the knowledge that enables one to bring a dead man back to life so that knowledge was possessed only by shukracharya uh, shukracharya is associated with venus so venus is associated with knowledge also in depth knowledge yes knowledge of all meticulous not uh, knowledge of all details i mean uh, you know a meticulous concern for all details now friends venus is also the, as I told you, it, it, is, it, it is a planet of, you know, uh, beauty. Venus is the planet of beauty. Now, Venus's own signs are Libra and Taurus. Okay, friends. And Venus uh, is also like, um, gets, is considered to be debilitated in Virgo. Now, Venus is in the seventh house of your birth chart. What is the seventh house? Seventh house is the house of marriage. Seventh house is also tenth from the tenth house. So in Vedic Jyotish or in Parashari Jyotish, tenth from the tenth house, this is the Bhavad Bhavam theory. So as per that theory, because it is tenth from the tenth house, seventh house is also the house of your profession, of your whatever you do, of your independent business, partnership business, of your profession, whatever it might be. It is the house of your public image how you present yourself yes uh, before the world how you kind of you know what is your image in the world your social image that is also seen from the seventh house how you how you have established yourself in the world uh, that also we see from the seventh house now friends seventh house is the house as i told you of your marriage uh, it is also the house of your spouse actually now in the chart of a male native in Bhrigunandi Nadi astrology, we believe that Venus is the significator of the wife. Yes, Venus is the significator of the wife. And Venus in general represents all women. Venus is, Venus is the planet that represents all women. Okay, friends? Alright, specifically significator of wife in a, fem in, a, in a male chart. And in a female chart, it is a significator of marriage. In a male chart, also it is a significator of marriage. So marriage and wife both, it signifies in a male chart. And in a female chart, it signifies marriage mainly. Marriage and obviously wealth and other significations. Now friends, what can you say now that Venus is in the seventh house? That means the first thing which I can tell you is that you will love your profession, your, you know, whatever you do. You know, you will, and you will love to establish yourself in the world. You will love to do that. Because, and if these results you will get friends if Venus is in good dignity in the 7th house. You will want to establish yourself in the world. You will want to have, you know, a good social image. That desire will be there. Yes, because Venus also represents, is a, it is the planet of desire also. Because, uh, you know, Venus is linked to the 7th house in the natural zodiac and, nat and the 7th house is a calm tricone house so venus is also the planet of desire so you will do that you will love to you will be attached to your you know public image your social image and you will also if venus is in good dignity in the seventh house you will love your marriage you will you know be attached to your marriage so naturally you'll be attached to your spouse it means you will be attached to your spouse so that will happen friends if venus is in good dignity 
in the seventh house. Venus is considered to be the natural significator of the seventh house. Yes, and uh, is is also the natural lord of the seventh house. Yes, friends. So now seventh house. Now Venus is sitting in its own house. Okay. So Venus feels very comfortable in the seventh house, very comfortable. And um, but then, friends, you have to also have to see which are the houses that Venus is ruling in the birth chart. Venus is the lord of which houses in the birth chart. That is also very important. And you also have to make sure that you know Venus is not the lord of a malefic house. That is, Venus is not the lord of um, maybe uh, the eighth house or. Uh, 12th house and even 6th house uh, so if that happens then yes because these 6 8 and 12 they are considered to be the uh, to be malefic houses then uh, okay uh, th there will be certain th because these houses also signify obstacles in life then you will have you may have to encounter obstacles but friends this will happen only if you are moving towards materialistic pursuits in life if your main uh, concern in life is to move towards material success and prosperity then definitely if Venus is the lord of uh, any of the malefic houses you will have to encounter obstacles but if you are moving towards a spiritual path if you are following a spiritual path then sixth house is the house of sadhana that is any kind of you know spiritual practice also we can see from sixth house definitely because sixth house is also the house of service even selfless service and eighth house is the house of astral travel is the house of meditation deep meditation going within yourself so and twelfth house is the house of moksha or spirituality or spiritual liberation and even devotion spiritual devotion so it is the house of devotion so so friends you can see if you are moving towards a spiritual path in life then definitely even if definitely you have materialistic goals but then if you are able to strike a balance between your desire for you know attaining material prosperity and your desire to serve others to serve the needy to do some charity you know to be spiritual being spiritual is actually thinking about others is actually being selfless and doing something for others that is what I believe is spirituality that is what spirituality is for me definitely its meaning might you know you know definitely people might perceive spirituality in different ways but this is what I feel friends and I'm sharing my thoughts with you so if you are selfless if you are doing something for others for the needy unprivileged downtrodden if you're thinking about them then you are spiritual and if you're able to strike a balance between, you know, uh, between what you do for your own pro material uh, success, prosperity and progress, and also, you know, what you want to do for others who are in need of help, then definitely I would say that you are a spiritual person. So if Venus is the lord of the malefic house, if any of the malefic houses also, you don't have to worry. That's what I want to say. All right. Now friends, Venus, one thing, Venus should not be afflicted again. Afflicted means uh, it should not be with any planet, you know, uh, which is kind of, uh, which considered to be a malefic planet. But again, if Venus is with Ketu, Ketu is again the planet of astrology, the planet of spirituality. Again, if you're moving towards spirituality, then there's no problem if there is Venus and Ketu also. So friends, that's what. But yes, if you are not following a spiritual path in life, if you are engrossed only in maybe seeking all kinds of uh, pleasures, material or sexual, you're engaged only in, you know, all that, then definitely if Venus is with Ketu, you will have to encounter obstacles. Yes, because Ketu is also obstacle. So friends, it's like that. I mean, so if Venus is afflicted, afflicted means, yeah, because in general, uh, in general, people what they do, people want to, you know, get, do a job, they want to earn money. That is what people do in general. But then friends, at least later on in life, say after the age of 35 onwards, one should also turn towards a spiritual path. If you do that, friends, then believe me, no matter how Venus is placed in the seventh house, you don't have to worry much. Yes, friends, and also Venus is the planet of 
as I told you, also of sexual desire. So friends, it is also the planet which stands for your marriage. So it is so important for you to be faithful to your life partner. You have to do that, friends. There is nothing wrong about, you know, sexual union. It is such a beautiful thing when it is, you know, uh, something which uh, signifies the bond between a husband and a wife. I mean, that is, it is a spiritual uh, bond after all, you know, marriage. So then there is nothing wrong about, you know, uh, the, the, that kind of physical union. But, but then when uh, you are, uh, if Venus is not in good dignity in the seventh house, say it is in, uh, it is not in a friendly sign, it is not in a nakshatra, uh, the lord of which is also, you know, unfriendly to, with Venus. You have to look at the zodiac sign in which Venus is placed and also the nakshatra in which Venus is placed. So, if the lord of the zodiac sign or if the lord of the nakshatra, if they are also unfortunately not well placed in the chart or if they are not friendly with Venus and if you are also not following a path of spirituality, then definitely Venus will not be in good dignity. Then friends, you may have to, you know, definitely encounter problems in your marriage. If Venus is kind of afflicted and not in good dignity in the seventh house, there will be problems in marriage. And uh, okay, also in acquiring wealth and social status even because Venus signifies all that. But friends, uh, let us see what will happen if Venus is in good dignity. Okay, friends, so you know, you can make your Venus strong, you can make Venus a benefit for you by maintaining a moral character, by remaining faithful to your spouse. Always remember that whether you are a male or a female native, it applies to all natives. Alright, so alright, it applies to everyone, whether you are male, female or, if, or even if you are you belong to some other gender because uh, yes if, whatever be the, the gender of the native you need to be faithful to the loved one to whomever you love okay all right now friends so what i was telling you uh, yes i was talking about venus in the seventh house so let us uh, assume that venus is in good dignity then what kind of results you can expect so you, as I told you, you will love your you know marital relationship. Will be attached to that. You will love your profession definitely. You uh, you will want to establish yourself uh, in society and maintain a you know good social image. And friends, you will also um, gain if Venus is in good dignity in the seventh house. You will gain from um, uh, joint assets which you may make. Or build with your spouse after marriage you may own some assets yes as some property or you may have some joint accounts with your spouse you will benefit from that if Venus is in good dignity in the seventh house and you may also uh, suddenly earn wealth from a family inheritance you may inherit some property yes from someone within the family or whatever you may inherit some property some ancestral property also so that will also enable you to you know improve your social status and you know there'll be a rise in your uh, okay uh, wealth and assets then friends what else we can say uh, if uh, venus is in good dignity in the seventh house then you may also uh, suddenly gain from uh, stock market stocks and shares if you have invested you may suddenly gain from that as well if venus is in good dignity in the seventh house you may gain from that but depends on the dignity of venus and also friends for stocks and shares you need to look at the fifth house also the fifth house of your birth chart the fifth house also should should support this you know uh, situation i mean if the fifth house and the fifth lord if they are also in good dignity then definitely and if Venus is also well placed in the seventh house then you can also gain from the stock market all right then friends uh, what else I can tell you after that um, all right let us then move ahead what else we, we can expect friends you will also definitely love your father if Venus is in good dignity 
you will love your father one more thing i forgot to tell you friends you may be interested in the field of occult studies if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house you may you and you may be very much especially during the antar dasha or dasha or even any kind of you know dasha of venus you may be kind of you know you may be very curious to know about your you know life that is you know to know about your future you may want to go deep uh, into your birth chart or you may want someone to read your birth chart that may definitely happen that may generally happen also even if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house yeah you will feel that even more during the dasha any kind of dasha of venus but even even if even otherwise if venus is in good dignity you will be curious to know about uh, you know astrology uh, you you may want to know about any other field of occult knowledge it could be even tarot card reading any other field of occult knowledge even numerology you may be interested in all that then friends what else i can tell you uh, you may definitely you will love technology you will love technology you will you know have a love for you know all kinds of technology uh, it could be any technology even internet technology information technology you will love technology that also i can tell you and uh, if venus is in good dignity you will love to use technology or you may also love to do any kind of investigation or research that also you may also love to do some meditation especially later on in life you will you know uh, you may feel that yes i will be able to find mental peace if i do some meditation that also may happen so actually you should do meditation friends if venus is in the 7th house then it will give you better results venus will become even stronger all right then friends what else i can tell you you will love your father you will definitely love you'll be attached to your father and um, even to, uh, to all your gurus to all your teachers you will respect them you will respect them you will uh, you know uh, admire them so and you will be very dutiful you will love to do your duty also if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house you will do all your duties towards your spouse towards your uh, father that is towards your family towards your profession whatever duty you have in life you will do your duty even towards society also if venus is in good dignity you will always feel that yes i have a duty towards society and i will you know especially towards the unprivileged and you know say after the age of 35 onwards one attains maturity yes friends so you will slowly slowly start doing some charity you will you know love to do some social service which is so good friends if you do that believe me in whatever dignity venus is sitting in the 7th house you will get good results if you believe in selfless service there is nothing like that there is nothing like charity friends all right then friends what else i can tell you if venus you will love your religion you will you know be attached to uh, your faith or you know uh, your religious faith also you will love your religion you will yes you will cling on to your religion yes whenever you are in any kind of trouble whenever you are in any state of dilemma you will turn to god you will be a firm believer of god if venus is in good dignity you will be very religious also very religious and later on you may desire uh, you may gain uh, you know you may acquire a desire for gaining spiritual knowledge also later on later on even that will happen if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house okay friends then uh, one more thing which i forgot to mention your spouse also will be beautiful if venus is not afflicted yes friends if venus is not afflicted your spouse also will be beautiful yes she will be beautiful um she or, or uh, especially the the wife will be beautiful if it is a male chart and even if venus is there in a female chart in the 7th house then also because venus is the planet of beauty so in in a, in the case of a female chart also the her spouse also will be good looking yes that's uh, definitely that is one thing we can say and if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house the native also will be good looking because venus is casting direct aspect on the lagna it is casting direct aspect on the lagna okay friends so if venus is in good dignity then 
it will make the native also very beautiful because it is a casting the aspect on the lagna lagna is the is your face is your body is your whole you know uh, physical appearance also so you will be beautiful definitely and the first house also signifies your life okay and venus is the planet of prosperity and even happiness so if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house then the native will lead a happy and prosperous life also that also we can say okay friends now what i was telling you now let us move ahead now friends if you have venus in the 7th house then one more thing i can tell you you will also be attached to your elder siblings to your elder siblings you will be attached to them you will love them you will turn to them for guidance yes you will love them and you will be also attached to your friends if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house you will have friends and you will be you will love your friends as well this will happen or friends i can also tell you that uh, if venus is in good dignity you will also have a desire to you know rise in life to make sure that there is a rise in your income so you will love to do that so you will put in a lot of hard work yes uh, you will you know work hard i mean you will like venus is in the 7000 good dignity you will make sure that because you will love your profession no so you will do whatever it takes to you know prosper in your profession but you will do that ethically not unethically if venus is in good dignity you will really put in efforts so that you know and you will do your uh, pro, you will uh, be engaged in your profession with a lot of love and definitely if you love what you do you will prosper and you always want to like you will have a desire to you know gain more and more uh, wealth also definitely you will have the desire and the desire also and you will also gain from your uh kind of you know i can say even from your interpersonal relationships from your social circle so you will gain from everybody from all your inter, uh, like fr- from all those people with whom you are associated from all your interpersonal relationships you will gain from uh, the people in the social circle you will gain you will gain their support in every way if venus is in good dignity that also i can say then friends you will love yourself also you will love you know your life you will love your personality you will love yourself if venus is in good dignity so there is one advice or suggestion for people who have venus in the 7th house that you love yourself that is very good we should all you know definitely be able to love ourselves only then we'll be able to love others yes that is there's nothing wrong about that but yes sometimes what happens if venus is in the 7th house one may be over obsessed with oneself one may not be able to you know see anything beyond oneself again that is not good friends so that is why this advice uh, you know this a sort of suggestion is given to people who have venus in the 7th house that they should also learn to be selfless and they should also because they love themselves anyway because if venus is in good dignity they will love themselves they will definitely be concerned about their progress their prosperity that is very good because unless we make progress unless we become prosperous we can't help others who need us we can't do that that is perfectly okay but yes uh, once we are we have been able to once we are able to you know kind of establish ourselves in the world then uh, we should not forget our duty again towards the society towards all those people also uh, who you know need our service maybe who maybe who need our help so uh, if venus is in the 7th house one should also learn to be selfless and one should also believe in selfless service that also that is very important if you do that venus will give you good results then friends uh, what else i can tell you you will also love uh your siblings you will love your uh, younger siblings also if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house you will be attached to your younger siblings also and uh, you you will definitely be attached to your younger siblings and uh, you will maintain a very cordial really you will be attached to them you'll be attached 
so friends these things we can say and uh, you will also have good communication skills yes and you will love to actually communicate your thoughts you will love to do that um, you will love to communicate whatever you know is going on in your mind M maybe you want to convey some message you will love to communicate that if venus is in good dignity and if mercury is also in good dignity then you'll be able to do that in a very beautiful logical manner you'll be able to, you'll be you'll be a very good communicator also if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house that also we can say and friends lastly one more thing i want to mention that you even your child especially your first child your first child also will be prosperous in life if venus is in good dignity even your younger siblings will be prosperous in life if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house and also your first child your first child will be prosperous in life and will attain prosperity in life so that will happen if venus is in good dignity in the 7th house so friends uh, i told you about venus's direct aspect that is the 7th aspect will fall on the 1st house so if the the 7th aspect is falling on the 1st house so that means you will love your personality you will love your life and uh, you know you will love your personality as a whole you will love that and uh, you will think about your own progress how to establish yourself in the world how to establish your identity in the world you will definitely you know have a desire to establish yourself your identity in the in the world so that will happen if venus is in the 7th house so friends all these results you can expect if venus is in the 7th house but yes if venus is afflicted then again the results will be different in most cases it the situation may just be the reverse or the situation may be different so you may not uh, love yourself if venus is not in good dignity yes um and you may not like the life that you are leading you will not love uh you know the life that you are leading and what will happen friends if you are not happy venus is also the planet of happiness no so your life you know you will think actually i'm not happy i'm not prosperous you'll keep thinking friends believe me happiness is just a state of mind yes i have seen people who do not who are not rich yes who don't have any uh, who don't have much okay who just are able to you know i have met such people who are who lead very humble lives but they are so happy so friends we should never think that happiness comes from material success from material prosperity it is not like that happiness is within ourselves friends even if nothing else is there i mean even if whatever we desire to gain in life even if we ha we have not been able to gain all that in spite of that we can find happiness within ourselves if we turn in words if we do some meditation if we try to be a little selfless then we will realize that it is not very really difficult to be happy yes friends so friends that's what that is why you need to do some meditation you need to be faithful yes to your spouse you need to go in words spend some time in meditation you need to do some charity if you do that friends believe me you will also be able to lead a happy and prosperous life and you will be able to seek the blessings of venus so friends with this thought i would like to wind up today's session that's all for today see you next time with another interesting topic in astrology or any other or some other field of occult knowledge so thank you friends take care see you